Right, this is a really quick video demonstrating um, a jailbroken Apple TV. Um, at the minute it's just booting up. Um, it takes a while when you jailbreak it because you can put extra programs on it. Now, unknown to many people, the Apple TV, oh, oh, get, it, get it in focus, is this little black box here which actually does have 8GB of storage which is what enables you to put the programs on it. Um, <coughs> now, like I said, it does take a while to boot up. It only goes up to 720 as well, not 1080. Um, <sighs> as you can see there in the corner, 720. <coughs> it connects up using HDMI, so in fact, it only connects up using HDMI, so you need to have either HD or HD ready teller. This telly in here is HD ready. La, 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 la. Now the main reason there we go. Now as you can, as you, anybody who's got Apple TV will instantly re recognise that you know it's different. Um, it looks different to a normal Apple TV because the normal Apple TV just has a black background. But I install this program which puts flowers on it. Now I think it can be changed, although I'm not sure exactly how to do it. But I will do it at a later date. Now you've got all your Apple features on, such as your movies up here, which you can rent from Apple and come out of your iTunes account. Uh, like for example, this one, Harry Potter. I preview it. Do it really quickly. There you go. As you can see, that's I could rent that from Apple if I really, really wanted to, but it's Harry Potter and it's rubbish, so I'm not going to do. So stop that. Um, I mean, other features of the jailbreak include. Um, <laughs> an internet browser um, and Neato TV where you, you basically get your Xbox Media Centre from which will appear on your Apple TV once you've done the jailbreak um, and it was jailbroken with green poison but the main reason for the jailbreak and it is, to, is for Xbox Media Centre the good thing about Xbox Media Centre is that all the content is actually stored online rather than on the box well, um, and basically it has all my music on it. Um, oh, I press, pressed the wrong button there. What's it doing? Just go back. <coughs> basically, as you can see, it has all, like, for example, go click on albums. It takes a while because everything's online. But there's all, all the music. Now the skin's a bit basic because it's a very early version of Xbox Media Center and it doesn't also and also for music it doesn't actually have a visualizer. But the best thing about it is the movies. <laughs> all these movies are basically movies what I've either ripped off a DVD or downloaded or whatever. Um and I'll just give you a quick demo with the um the air team. Um it encodes in Dolby Digital and it also encodes DTS. And now, like I said, this is stored online, so it's it's just going to stream it when it starts to play. And I think <laughs> here we go. There you go. And it's in here. Obviously, that's in HD. Downloading off the internet. And as you can see from the amp, it's all. This is this one's Dolby Digital. It's five point one. And that's it. That's Xbox Media Center on Apple TV. Thank you.